Okay, part three for our small box. In this part, what we're going to do is we're going to add the oak leaf to the front of the box. And we're going to do that using CAD drawing techniques in AutoCAD. And so here we have our, our box that we've modeled. And we're going to go to Model Space. And there it is. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the D2L system and in D2L, I have the oak leaf. And so I'm going to download that and open that. And so here we have the oak leaf. And I'm going to take this one right here as my oak leaf that I'm going to work with. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit, copy with base point, and I'm going to turn on my O snap or center like it is on and we'll say that'll be the center and then I'm going to select the geometry and hit enter and then I'm going to switch back over to my my box and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a three-point UCS on this face right here and so I'm in the 3d workspace right now 3d modeling and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to select three and I'm going to go and I'm going to place with an O snap. That's my first point where the origin is. This will be the X axis, the second point. I just click there and that's the third point. Now, when we bring something in, that's going to be the X, Y plane. So if I say edit paste, I can bring this in and then I can shift middle mouse wheel kind of look where I'm going to put that and that looks about right and so I'm going to click right there and place that on the drawing and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the second one and before I do what I think I'll do is I'll make a line so that I can use it as like a reference point and so I'll I'll draw this line and as I draw it, I'm going to make it four inches long. So that I know where my second geometry is. And then I'm going to paste another one right at that point. And then what I can do is I can press pull or subtract. Uh, this geometry. And so I'm going to go out of conceptual and go to 2D wireframe. And then what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to extrude it because I always seem to have difficulty with press pull in these situations. Now we only have 0.125 wall thickness. And so I'm going to go maybe half of that, 0.032. And so what I'll do is I'll extrude this, 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 and this. I'll hit enter and then I'll extrude it. And I guess we could just extrude it out and have it uh, protruding from the part. And so we can extrude that out 0.032. Or what I'd rather do is to subtract it and then print this in a different color and then use horizontal expansion and then glue it together. And so you can do either one. If I if I push it in this way and type in 0.032, enter, and then I zoom in on it, you can see that it's there. And then I can subtract it. And so we'll say subtract. We'll select the larger shape, hit enter, and then subtract the oak leaf geometry. If we look at it with a conceptual, we can now see that that's now a negative image. And then what we can do on the other component is we can extrude this, and we could extrude this um, maybe a sixteenth so it has a bit of a raised area, and then we can export that and use that for 3D printing. And so what we'll do here is we'll say 
extrude and we'll select our geometry and then as I bring this forward we'll make that a positive and so we'll say 0.125 as our thickness for that and then what we'll do is we'll bring these into our slicing program and so we'll export these as STL files and so we'll say let's save this we'll call this version 3 and then we'll come up here and we'll export other file formats and we'll call this the small box base hit enter and then we'll export this is our oak leaf so we'll say export other file formats oak leaf and then we'll go into our 3d slicing program and import that scale it and set that up for printing. All right, that ends this part of our how to brand this three by three inch cube.